Thank you, Mr. Chair. I, uh, it's remarkable in a way that Councilmember Cole Wells and I can get literally on the same page because when we were in Olympia, we were on, had very different approaches to stadiums. I'm one of those that just at my core believes that the public financing of professional sports teams is a racket and not in the public interest. It's just fundamentally, I've looked at, there was actually a study of studies, a National Economic Journal did, looked at all of the economic studies about the economic benefits to, to local governments uh, of investing in, investing public dollars in uh, professional sports stadiums. And almost unanimously, the conclusion was it did not pencil out economically for the region. Uh, one thing that stood out in my mind was a comparison um, the, the economic benefits of a professional sports stadium like Safeco are comparable to a mid-sized shopping mall. Sure, it creates jobs and some benefits, but why aren't we then investing a hundred and some million dollars in Westfield South Center Mall and their infrastructure and parking to improve the shopper experience? And I know um, sports bring a, something to our quality of life, but for a lot of people, shopping malls do too. The Coca-Cola company, through their Diet Coke, brings a lot of joy to my life, uh, as my <laughs> colleague knows. You know, a lot of businesses create jobs. And Product placement there, Councilmember Dunn. Get the Mountain Dew up. <laughs> uh, so we have a lot of businesses, large and small, throughout the region that are creating jobs and economic benefits that don't have their infrastructure subsidized. Um, so why then am I willing to support this amendment that does include $25 million um, towards uh, Safeco Field? And it's because the rest of the investments are targeted in a way that I think makes sense. The uh, money is uh, from uh, reducing the amount to Safeco would go to affordable housing. But importantly, um, it also maintains the, the remaining tourism dollars. Um, we heard from some small businesses in SeaTac um, that could benefit from investments in tourism to create an international market. Um, I don't think investing in stadiums is good economic development, but I do believe that direct tourism marketing can boost our economy in a much more broad-based way that helps more businesses in more parts of the county. And our regional tourism authorities know how to do that. They're, they're proven. And in this amendment, um, the Tourism Promotion Authority in South King County, called the uh, Seattle Southside Regional Tourism Authority, would get about $1.5 million a year to support small businesses throughout King County. And as someone who represents the most tourism-dependent district, SeaTac Airport's in the heart of the district I represent, so all those service workers benefit from the economic activity down there. This amendment would provide the funding to support that kind of economic development that's more broad-based benefits more people and would include the opportunity for um, those communities to invest in strategies like an international uh, market. So that's what led me to be willing to compromise for some, some funding for Safeco is because this also recognizes the importance of investing in affordable housing. That's a public benefit that benefits everyone. It invests a reasonable amount in direct tourism marketing, which I believe is a public benefit that benefits more people. And for that reason, I'm willing to support a little bit of funding for Safeco Field and uh, commend Councilmember Cole Wells for her, uh, her efforts to pull together a compromise.